It would have been much worse without Pupo. Pay the man. Facts. Kara is so bad. We, he's got to go. He has to go. What's your opinion? You think so? Uh, let me ask you this. How many touches do you think he had? I don't, I, I, I don't know. Over or under 19 and a half? Got to be under. 21 total. So actually over. Okay. But 21 in well, listen, 60, 70 minutes. Listen, as an aerial threat, he's useless. He's got brick feet. He's so slow. He can't fucking finish. I mean, I get it. He's got his whatever, nine goals or whatever. But he's so shit. If you actually watch him, he is so shit. Yeah, facts. He's, he's getting outscored by Higuain. I mean, we sub Benji and I get excited. And Tesho. Benji and Tesho and I get excited. That's how bad he is. He needs to leave the club, man. It's horrible. He's bashing on Kara. Who do you want to bash on? Everyone not named Angulo, I guess. What about Gaese? Uh, and Pedro. I think just that's a given. Faku looked good at times. That's about it. Oh, my goodness. Angulo make that deal permanent. I know we have one more year, but holy crap, he is good. Out of nowhere. Uh, we should have won this game three times over. We didn't. It's just one of those games that we seem to have every other week. Yeah, we're not on this five-game winning streak anymore. We lost 5-1 to Philly, and now we're losing to Atlanta at home. Who wants a win streak when you have a losing streak? Facts. Welcome to Orlando. Okay. All right, we need, we need some positivity. What are the positives out of this match, other than cream cheese not being here? Positive. Do you have positive? I don't know. <laughs> you gotta come up with something. Oh, uh, we almost scored by like. Yeah, Kara misses a header, which is like the only thing he's good at. Right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean that's pretty much it. That's the only thing positive. All right, now negatives. We played shit. We played trash. <laughs> you heard it here first. We played awfully. Yeah. Yeah. But the other team belongs in the dumpster. And facts. Facts, yeah. Elena is a dumpster, so. Yeah, Kara. Um, he he hurts me, like, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, in every way, shape, and form. It was just awful watching Dom Dwyer out there, though. Like, worse than watching Kara was, was watching Dom Dwyer. He's the biggest bitch I've ever seen play so uh, I almost said softball, soccer. Uh, and actually, Brad Guzane and a couple of the other Atlanta guys were sitting in a suite above us, and they, like, I just wanted to scream profanities at them the whole time. I should have done it. I, I should have, and I I was uh, I wish I knew sooner that they were there, or else I would have been really annoying. But I kept calling Dom Dwyer a weenie, and I kept calling him a phony, and all this other stuff. So I really hope that they heard it. And uh, apparently, Brad has a torn Achilles or something. Uh, he deserves it. Yeah, yeah it's true. Exactly. Though, yeah. I was like, oh, we just love to hate him. How we doing? How we do? There's no hype tonight, is there? Yeah, highs and lows. You know, that's that's Orlando City. Um, I think it's important we we keep our emotions in check to be honest this is the same thing that won the open cup um i i, I feel like I, I definitely disagree i feel like a lot of the fan base doesn't like kara or doesn't think kara is a good striker do I, you think he is i i think he is i, I think he is if we go into watch this game i, I know it's, it's not shocking right but watch today's game the, the 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 mistakes or the the poor decisions were not his it was the quality of the crosses i feel like we we, we predictively do these you know balls out to the to the fullback but how many of these crosses went in? I think we, he probably had one proper cross come to him. And he put it, and he missed it, yeah. And, yeah, and he, and he missed it, but it was probably a few inches away from the target. So give him, get him better service, probably could have done better. But what a, a quality good striker gets his one chance, he puts it away. That's, that's true, that's true. And I, I'm, not, I'm not saying by any means Kara is the lead striker. I think he, 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 he had his chance today. I feel like had the crosses been better, he would have dominated those centre backs. I feel like he did dominate those centre backs. They weren't stopping the crosses, they just weren't getting to him. But I mean, outside that, I mean, again, it's, it's highs and lows. Decision making was poor. We do need players outside of Facundo to be able to show up. Ivan, really good. But again, you know, lacking that final, you know. Yeah, the final production just isn't there. Production isn't there. Mulroney came on. He came on looking like he was trying to prove a point against his former team, which which you should. Um, again, you know, highs and lows, man. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. Can't lose to Atlanta, man. Can't lose to Especially at home. Yeah, so, so you know, and then, again, highs and lows. We won the Open Cup, but then we have to think about the playoffs as well. So it's, it's heartbreaking, man, but, you know, we go again. Saturday, we take on Toronto, you know, and see how it goes. Got to get the three points, sir. Have to, have to. All right, man. Good stuff. Thank you. All right, let's see. You don't like Dom Dwyer, you don't like Kara, I think, right? No, I, 
I'm fine with Carr, honestly. I, I'm disappointed with his performance tonight, but like, so disappointed from Cara, disappointed from Torres. It was just a rough night for both of them. But I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, fuck you, Dom Dwyer, for going over to the supporter section, acting like you did. Yeah, exactly. A acting like you did anything tonight. So like you, you can say you can say honestly, Dom Dwyer did nothing useful for Orlando or for Atlanta United rather tonight. Did nothing useful for Atlanta United tonight, and then went over to the supporter section and acted like he was a grandiose like winner tonight. Fuck you. We're all glad that Sydney Larue left you. We're so glad that fucking she kept the kids. Everything. Oh my word. All right, this is getting personal. Holy shit. Wow. Who has something less personal? Oh, yeah, but you just want Tesho to start. I got you? No. Right. Fuck Joseph Martinez. Right, yeah. But Tesho needs to play. And Benji. Hey, Tesho was close. Tesho was close. But it's okay. We, we good we, we good where was Faku? Yeah, where where was, was he, bro? Where was our whole squad? I don't know. I don't know. Shit. Hey, Jansen wasn't playing. Uh, like, he literally wasn't even that long. Rajo's sick. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, Moutinho does do does good in the back. I can say that. Oh, yeah, he plays well. It was, him and Gaese had the best games out of the players, I would believe. Now we got some music for you, okay? You ready, you ready for this chant? Fuck Atlanta, fuck, fuck Atlanta. Fuck Atlanta, fuck, fuck Atlanta. Fuck Atlanta, fuck, fuck Atlanta. Thank you. We got a knockoff, fuck Miami. Heard. Heard. Always remember to hydrate after winning your championships. Always remember that. The hangover can be a real bitch. I'll see you Saturday. Cheers. Cheers. Maccabi Haifa didn't look terrible today. No, no, no. Actually, it's great. I got my USL game worn, dumb dollar jersey signed, so that's good. At the end of the day, you got to win. Like I always say it, winners win games, losers make excuses. We have to win the games that matter to the fans, and we got to win at home. Uh, congrats to Atlanta. They, they, they played the game to win. They played to win the game, and we didn't. And, uh, you know, the players, you know, they ran for the tunnel. Crappy move because the fans wanted to say hello to you. But this is what's going to happen. We got to win Saturday. We got to recoup, uh, rethink everything, and then finish the season. You you know, Atlanta, obviously, you know, a lot of people want to dunk online on, on Atlanta uh, fans that don't know anything about this sport. They're just glory hunters. Listen, I love doing that. But the fact of the matter is, is tonight we were not up to task. Simple as that. It's on the players, not the management, not the tactics. Uh, you know, it, you know. I always say football is cruel and unpredictable. It is what it is. They got us. Pressure makes diamonds. So we'll see if the boys will respond. Every game is a final, and I'm gonna keep throwing all the cliches at you guys because the fact of the matter is, I'm just a fat middle-aged man. I sit section 33. I'm not out there for 90 minutes kicking a ball. I just show up and hope for the best. And that's that's what that's that's what matters. And you know, Atlanta is not gonna win a trophy just because they beat Orlando. So, you know, I, I wanna beat him. I wanna beat him. Just you know, but uh, it's our bogey team and we just gotta accept it for what it is. So question, quick thought from you. Arizona Cara. Well Can you make that a quick thought even? Can you sure, sure, sure. Uh, well, um, you know, he may find himself on the trading block uh, come December. That's all I got to say. Interesting. How's it going? Going well. How are you doing? Could be better. Honestly, same. Could be better. Um, yeah. Um, I was excited for this game. I was like, it's a, it's a rival. I was able to get out of work early, came to the game, super excited. And then, of course, this happens. I mean, you can't, uh, can't believe it. I know you had asked about... Erchin Kata, and I was I was super excited when we signed him. It's like we're getting talent from Europe. He's proven, and it doesn't look like he's proving himself well enough. I don't know if he's meeting he's not meeting our expectations or we're not meeting his expectations. I mean, you can't deny. I mean, the guy's scoring goals, he's assists, but I not where we want him to be, right? That's so. not where our nine should be. He's say nine, maybe ten goals I in all comps. I think so. I mean, I don't mind looking it up. I think it, I think it's ten in all comps, nine in the league, and he's being outscored by Higuain. 